Hey Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your energy update, okay? So don't forget, flip these rolls, take only what you need and leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. Also, you guys, I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. I'm just going to speak the energy. Um, so, yeah, let's see what's going on for you guys. There's a thunderstorm happening here, so the lights may flicker. Um, hopefully not. But, however, let's see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angelic Guides, for helping me with Taurus reading. Protect us as we go through the spiritual gates. And I thank you for closing the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you that my true guides are here with me. Thank you for them showing up and showing out. And so it is. All right, so look, the action card is here. Indecision card is here. And the first chakra card, okay? So whatever's happened here, you got to put more effort into something, a decision that you need to make, okay? And it comes to your stability, your security, whether it's financial or whether it's just you feeling stable or safe, period, okay? So we're going to see. Tell me about the action card. What is it that Taurus needs to put more action into? All right, so the Ten of Wands comes out next to the High Priestess in reverse. So there's something here that may be burdening you. You may have some type of stress or, or some something here. It's like a heavy weight or something on your shoulder. And you're not listening to your intuition, okay, um, when it comes to this. So it's going to require you to listen to your inner knowing right to go within to trust yourself okay when it comes to this because you got the answers taurus you may not feel like it but the reason why you probably don't is because you're overburdened okay whether it's obligations whether it's just because you're burdened because everything is feeling delayed right Whatever the problem may be, right? Sadness, grief. This is what's causing you to not be able to see, all right? What's the decision that Taurus needs to make? You're stuck at a crossroads. Seven of Wands is in a reverse position. So you may be folding on your beliefs, okay? You may be giving up on something here where you should be standing your ground. Okay, you got to stand up for what you believe in. You got to keep fighting for it and stay determined, even if it is a challenge, even if something is opposing you. Don't give up. Knight of Wands is in the reverse position next to Six of Wands reverse next to the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. And what I'm seeing is, is that there could be somebody in your energy that you got a lot of um, chemistry with. Okay, Knight of Wands in a reverse position. This person could be, you know, one who makes a lot of promises but don't deliver much, right? Okay, you get me? In and out type energy, playboy type energy, okay? And you're not getting the recognition that you are looking for, all right? This situation may make you feel like, yeah, you're not winning, basically. You're going through something. Whatever the upheaval is that you guys are going through here, whatever the frustration may be, like this could be a work situation, you know, what could be in your personal life, whatever it is, it could be issues with your money or just some type of adverse adversity that you're having here. And because of the adversity, you know how it kind of makes you have this lack mindset, right? And it starts to, you start to think like, oh, I may not have enough. Oh, I may lose this. Or, oh, you know, whatever that thought may be, it can be frustrating as hell, right? But all of these feelings that you're feeling, is your higher self telling you that it's time for you to make a decision, right? Something's wrong. You want victory. Look at this. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So whoever this person is, it's like they oper operate under the pretense of greed, basically. Instead of them, you know, keeping a routine working on a long-term goal whatever it may be it's just like this person is is either too hasty and then they make mistakes and then yeah the knight of pentacles sometimes can they literally just may not be doing nothing right so hmm. it's like it's like my spirit team is giving you all the reasons of like yeah why you need to make a decision and put more effort into it. Yes, because there's an imbalance. The devil is here. 
in the reverse position though. Like this is about your independence. It's about you standing in your power. There's an imbalance, right? You have to change your perspective about how you see all of this because this this could be um, codependent connection or, co it, or it could be just certain addictions or things like that, right? That could be causing some type of issues here. And whether it's on your end or theirs, however, it's still bringing an imbalance, right, to you, okay? Yeah, six of cups in the reverse next to the six of swords reverse position for everything so it's time to let go that's it the decision you need to do make is about you focusing on your future at this point okay releasing what no longer serves you because with that six of swords in the reverse it's like this is someone who is not letting go okay not moving forward you know staying with what's familiar it's time to leave those familiar territories and then and venture out move forward okay and guess what? Things are going to calm down. You're going to get into calmer waters if you let go. Some of you may be holding on to the fact that, you know, you know you may need to leave home, right? You know you need to move forward, right? And it's time to kind of grow up and do some things on your own, right? Because it's like you're no longer, you're no longer, how can I say it? A child is what came to me. Okay. It's time to move forward. Whatever it is, it's like, it's this energy of like, it's time to move forward. It's time to move on. Start accepting the help that you need so that you can begin to get yourself stable. Okay. Heal, forgive, whatever it may be, but it's time to move forward. It's no longer time to like kind of sit in and dwell on what didn't work or what's not, um, or regret. Let's just put it that way. Right. Yeah. It's time to take action like and i just heard some of you even have your own children right yeah have the confidence when doing it believe in yourself is what i'm hearing and the card says struck begins with the choice to be kind to yourself right so this is the time now where it's no longer room for self-doubt it's time for action wow secrets revealed Ooh. <clears throat> it's like whatever is done in the dark is coming to the light honey queen shiva open your eyes secrets are being revealed it is safe for you to see the truth your inner vision is crystal clear you don't know what you don't know. Your creator ancestors, angels, spirits, and ascending masters are whispering to you. This is divine intelligence. Pay close attention. There are things you do not let yourself see. Allow yourself to be guided. Choose your own path. You're stuck in a crossroads. You got to choose your path. It's time to let go. Okay, it's time to let go of the indecisiveness, the self-doubt. Whatever is keeping you stuck and draining you, it's time to let go. So meditate and consider which direction resonates with you most. Follow your heart and make a self-honoring choice, okay? Open your eyes because secrets are being revealed. Spirit is revealing these secrets to you. Tell me about the secrets being revealed. seven of wands comes up all right you feel it you know it it's like it's a lot of adversity it's a lot that you have to fight against i mean people even covet what you have for real on top of that here even the world card comes out here too so this is about cycles for you and in order for you to reach a stage of completion it's about you actually working on yourself like becoming whole okay so that you can achieve these goals and things that you may have all right, here with the King of Cups up right next to the Knight of Pentacles. Like they came out in the reverse, I think, earlier. But to me, it, it just feels like it's more about being balanced, right? It's about being emotionally balanced, okay? That's what I feel that is. I'm going to pull tarot on that, but I do feel it. It's like you want to have stability. You want to have a person in your life that's reliable or people that's in your life that's reliable because what you're aiming for is long term. You're looking for that stability. You're looking to have a comfortable lifestyle, right? 
So, and even if this is about you having it with a person, then yeah, that's what you want in your life. Okay, so tell me about the King of Cups reverse. Yep, the High Priestess is in the reverse and the Seven of Wands. This is like staying your ground against whoever this person is. Set some healthy boundaries for yourself. You may got some feelings for this person, okay? But it's time for you to set some boundaries for yourself. That's it. Stand up for yourself. It may be friends and other people that may oppose this person too. They may but may be like, mm -mm. <laughs> you don't need to be with that person. You may even know it too, but you may just be ignoring it. That's what I'm hearing. You're ignoring it. You know that this person may not be good for you, but you're ignoring it. Yep, Eight of Wands comes up in an upright position. Tell me about that. The devil is in a reverse position. So yeah, the communication needs to be had. It's time for some progress to be made. The decision has to be made. Because again, the devil card, energy reverse, that's about releasing and freeing yourself. Okay? So free yourself. You got this. You're working on being this, the queen of pentacles upright. So this is someone who's a healthy balance, right? A self-made person you got goals and dreams and aspirations so now it's time to free your self Taurus all right now I know who's honey you got it I'm praying for y'all and I love you peace <laughs>